as, as you see, this interview, like this doc, he, he want to make a whole documentary about me, about Crump, but we talked about it and we said like, you know, um, I have my boy from, from, uh, from USA, my girl from, from Russia, interview them first because we live in the same city and it's about Crump, it's not about me, you feel what I'm saying? We agreed on this one, so we decided to do an interview with two international Crump dancers. The story will tell us how Crump got him off the streets. Girl Eyes will tell us something about how Crump gave her whole new family a lot of friends worldwide. And they will tell us something about the culture of Crump, the differences between clown dancing and crumping. And besides that, they had a jam at the central station in Rotterdam. They got down. And let's go and see what they got. Denver Fuller. I'm from the US. I'm 25 years old. My dance name is Destroyer, also known as Boy Mad Rip from Street Kingdom. My name is uh, Victorina. I'm from Russia, I'm 26, and um, also a member from Street Kingdom, Russia. And my dance name is Gold and Ice. I started back when I was about young, real, real young, I would say about around 9, 10. It was the only outlet that we had. Like, when you're going through something at home or you feeling real frustrated and you have a dance to use, when people look at it from the outside in, it looks aggressive because all your emotions, everything that you have is coming out. So it seems aggressive, but as you keep going, you notice that you don't have to be aggressive anymore. All the all the, the pain and everything that you're starting to feel, it starts to become at ease because you're getting comfortable with the dance. You're finding your passion, all your aggression and everything is going into something more positive. So it may still look that type of aggressive feeling because it's more street based. You know what I mean? Everything that we do is raw. It's then you understand that you have power inside of you. Mm -hmm. So Crump is very powerful dance. So it's not, uh, it doesn't have to be, uh, be uh, it doesn't have to be aggressive, but it's powerful because you understand you have power inside, and you just like receive this power from inside to outside to your dance, and uh, this power help you overcome yourself, overcome the problems everybody have, and all that, and of course, crime changed my life. A lot. Now people don't seem mad or aggressive when they crumb. We're always happy. We smile sometimes. We laugh. This is just the, the the happy feelings, you know, the type of feeling that we get when we do this dance. But it started off aggressive because that's all that we had, and trying to get us out of the streets and dealing with people being killed or dealing with family members, you know, being lost and things like that. That was the only way that we had it. I mean, I was a smart kid, but I was also one of those kids that was in the streets. You know, I had family members I was into the streets growing up. It's hard to try to stay away from that. You know, when you have those type of friends and you have family members that's, you know, into gangs and things like that, you pick up on it, you know, and Crump is something that took me away from it. And I'm glad that it did because I think if I would have never, you know, got so passionate into Crump, I could have probably been locked up or maybe even be killed, you know. Crump is something more than just dance style. Crump, it's your lifestyle. Crump, it's everything, music, clothes, lifestyle, uh, community, your friends. Crumb give me family, which I never had before, because um, unfortunately, how circumstances was in my life, I never really have a family. And Crumb give me brothers and sister all around the world, and even we all have speak different languages, from different countries, different families, different race, different nations. But Crumb is like our language. We all understand each other through this dance. 
and Crumble really give me so many brothers and sisters who understand each other, we feel each other, we support each other. When you started out, was it already overseas or was it only no. in the United States? It was just in the United States. When I was into Crump, there was a movie that Rise came out. And basically what Rise did was it showed the separation from clown dancing into something more street based, which was Crump. What's the difference between clown dancing and Crump? Clown dancing is more like entertainment. Like you would find more clown dancing for like entertaining kids, parties, birthday parties, and stuff like that. Can you tell us more about the creators, mm -hmm. Tadas and Mio? Do you know how they came up with Crump? Originally, they were clown dancers. They used to dance for time as a clown, and um, it just so happened that the type of style that they were doing was too rugged. They were very, very close friends. Still to this day, they're still best friends and they've been dancing since the age of like 13. And from there, they just kept practicing together. Like they figured out the dance that they were doing was different. And they started labbing, which is what you practice. That's what we call in, you know, in Chrome. When we lab, we come up with our material, our move. They started doing that and creating names for the things that they were doing and started building a foundation with the crumb so that it can be more understandable when they start explaining it to people, when people ask, what is it that they're doing? Technical problems. That's yeah. a technical problem right there. Not yeah. recording it. Damn. I know, I know. I'm okay, sorry. Anyways. I'm sorry. All right. And action. This was part one of our Christmas special about crumping. I hope you like this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I recommend you to watch the DVD Rise. And don't forget to come back every Monday at that Dancer TV.